Before I get started with today's video, I want to give big major shout outs to Keybox, which are the people that supplied me with today's controller that I'm going to be using. If you want more information on this, link is in the description down below, and I'm going to be giving more information at the end of the video. Now on to the guide. My goodness, long time no see. Welcome back everybody to some more videos, and oh my gosh, it's been over a year since I've uploaded the first part to this beginner intro guide to the bb tag combo system and my goodness have things have changed since then however some things still apply so if you guys are beginners or are more newer to the fighting game genre or to bb tag in general i do suggest you checking out that video first i'm gonna be going over cross combos in a future video that's a video in itself but today we're gonna be doing active switching okay Active switching is an incredibly important mechanic to be able to comprehend in this game. There's a couple things you have to keep in mind when you do active switch, okay? Now, before I get into it in detail, I want to show you guys how you do it and what it is. Well, basically, active switching is whenever your opponent is out and about, or I'm sorry, your partner character is out and about, you can actually press the tag button and active switch into that character while they're out. Now, there's a couple things that you have to keep in mind with this, okay? Number one is that whenever you you active switch into your partner character, don't forget that your previous character you active switched out of can still be hit. So for example, if Narukami goes out, the other character can still be hit. There's a big window where, where you have to continue pressure, distract the opponent while your previous character you active switched out of can leave the screen. And whenever he leaves the screen, that's when he can recover health, or you can just have him in the backseat for whenever you need him again. Now, another thing I wanna actually go over is of course the timing as to when you can active, active switch into a character while they're doing an assist. So when it comes to active switching, whenever you do an assist, you can do it at the very beginning, or at the very end of their attack animation. So for example, with Jin, you can do it immediately as he comes out. With Narukami, is the same thing. And you, of course, you can do the, do the uh, uh, attack and then actually active switch while he's out and about and such. So you have to actually experiment with every character because every character's assist or active switch timings are different when it, depending on the assists. Because some assists might last a lot longer than others. For example, let's take Narukami where he has a very fast projectile, and I cannot active switch after that. However, Jin has a very long starting like projectile, so he has a larger window for you to active switch into. So you have to take that into consideration. So dink around with your opponent or with your partner's assists and see when you can active switch and when you cannot active switch. So now that we went over the details of active switching and how it works, let's go over the different scenarios where you're going to be using it. Now there's three big major ways you're gonna be using active switching. The most important ways, of course, and the most common one is by far combos, then it's going to be mix-ups, and then it's going to be neutral, all right? And it all depends on your characters that you're going to be pairing up. So for example, let's go over combos, all right? Let me give you just a very brief, very simple example of active switching with this team. Uh-huh. That's it. That's a very simple combo where your previous character leaves and you're left with your, your active switched character. So I'm not going to be showing you every single specific combo that includes active switching with every team. I'm going to be giving you the framework as to what you can use or what you can do to be able to get a good active switch combo with your team or whatever character you actually build with. So in terms of the active switch itself, when it comes to the Jinyu Force here, what you do is basically just start off the combo, then you combo with Jin, which is your backup character. As soon as Jin stops comboing the opponent, that's when you activate a move that can last long enough for Jin to recover out of active switch and continue the combo. Now, this is where the whole you have to experiment with your character comes in. So a character like Narukami, you're going to be using the very simple basic answer for Narukami will be electric slide. So when Jin finishes up his assist attack, that's when you can electric slide in and active switch into Jin. Now, a little bit of a tip is to press the the button that you're going to be that's correspondent to the special move you're doing at the same time you're going to be pressing the tag button so you're going to be pressing 214 b and tag whenever you jen finishes up just like that all right that's just a, a little bit of a tip for you guys to do whenever you're figuring out your active switch combos okay so let's give you guys another example let's actually choose yuzu this time and actually try and do an active switch combo with yuzu now it's a little bit tougher with yuzu just because she doesn't really have a long lasting move, but if you want to get this, you, you can definitely get this with Yuzu, no problem. There we go. 
So that's just something, a little bit of an example with Yuzu. I chose a special move where it can prop her up high up in the air and for me to be able to go up with Blake and continue on the combo as soon as I active switch. So that's just a very simple things with active switch that you can do when it comes to combos. The next way of cross comboing is mix-ups. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky because there's many, many ways for you to utilize active switch as mix-ups. Some people like to cross over to the other side and then have them sandwiched. And some people have some characters that can have an instant overhead or have an overhead type move so they can switch out into their other character and continue the combo with the partner character. So Narukami has JC or Jumping C. So let me give you a brief example as to what you would do with Jin Narukami. So you would do this and then you active switch into your other character and continue the combo with Jin. I kind of messed up there. There we go. Just like that. So that's just a very brief basic example. The other one will be sandwiches and sandwiches they're pretty easy to set up in certain circumstances. There's characters that can cross up very easily. For example, Yuzu. So let's actually use Yuzu in this situation. So pretty much what you would do is, and Blake as well. Blake can actually cross up with her assist. You see how she's on the other side? Easily. Easy on the other side. Uh, if she's not on the other side, you can actually have Yuzu teleport over. So you can do things like, just like that. And it's, it's all character dependence, but a very easy way for you to be able to sandwich is of course just jump on over. Just jump on over while they're blocking the assist and then you're sandwiched basically. And you can do something very, very quick. So in this case, you can do like this. Bam, now that's a good active switch mix up there. So that's something that you have to practice. So yeah, it can be kind of crazy when it comes to the mix ups and such. Of course, just keep in mind that you can do things like that. It's just, there's so many different ways you can sandwich in this game. And uh, just experiment with your character because your character might have an easy way to sandwich. And if they don't, just stick to the easy method of uh, sandwiching. Now the last way for you to be able to utilize active switching is for neutral. And what neutral means is just to give a br very brief synopsis of what neutral is, is how do you get from this situation where you're both farther away trying to feel each other out to where you're pressuring and when you're trying to get the hits. How do you get from here to here? Okay, so that's what the neutral is essentially. So there's different ways for you to do this and it's all character specific. A very good example of this is going to be with Ruby because she has that double gunshots move and you can act a switch out of that move and your partner character can just run up to the opponent and do whatever the hell they want. A very strong example of this, probably the strongest that I can think of, is with Batista Akihiko, all right? And actually, Ruby can do this with Akihiko as well. Basically, what you do is you do Batista, and then you send out Akihiko. He's gonna fly out to the screen, just like this. Now he's in. That's what I mean by you close the gap and you're trying to get that hit, trying to pressure the opponent for you to get that hit. So that's probably one of the most strongest examples of uh, just uh, how to utilize active switching in neutral. Just like that. And now you're in. Now the opponent has the block. And there's just many, many other different ways for you to be able to utilize active switching for neutral. You just have to figure out what special moves you can active switch out of and what characters you can do that with. Not everybody can do it, but you just have to figure it out. And that's going to be my time today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this intro beginner's guide to active switching in BB Tag. Hopefully you guys get to understand active switching a little bit more and how to utilize it properly and such and how important of a mechanic it is to be able to play BB Tag. Of course, you can play this game all mashy and very noob scrub friendly. However, when you start to incorporate things like active switching, you start to have a lot more fun and you also start to see an increase in your gameplay. So that's just something to keep in mind. Just remember that active switching does have some repercussions whenever you active switch willy nilly. Both your characters are susceptible to getting hit, so be careful with that. But of course, it's very strong when utilized properly with mix ups and with neutral and with combos. Of course, you can dish out major damage. And of course, if you incorporate cross combos into the mix, that's when things start to become a lot more interesting. Anyways, I hope my goal was clear that I wanted you guys to understand a little bit more about active switching. If you guys have any more questions about it, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try to address it in a future video. Or if you guys want to head on over to Twitch whenever I'm live, you can ask me yourself and I'll see if I can try to help you out as much as possible. 
Of course, subscribe to the channel for more BB tag and guides like this. I'm back doing this type of stuff. Like the video if you guys did. It lets me know if you guys like these type of videos. And of course, big major shout outs to Keybox for it for actually supplying today's controller and being awesome so if you guys want to know any more information about this controller it's basically a controller made out of keyboard parts so if you're a keyboard warrior if you want to have a nice compact sleek way of being able to use a controller like con controller keyboard like controller there we go link is in the description down below big thanks to keybox thank you so much and i am signing out thank you all for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace out everybody